Today I'm going to show you how to use our databases to research controversial issues. The best way to start is by going to the Valley homepage, www.vcs.net, and then scroll down to the bottom of the page where you'll see a tiny link for the library. Click on that and then you'll come to the library homepage. Once you get to the library homepage, click on Research and then click on Online Databases. Here you'll see a list of all of the databases we have available to you. In this video, I'm going to show you one of our databases for uh, researching controversial issues. We have two databases and I'll show you a second one in the second video. So here's our first one, Opposing Viewpoints Resource Center. Go ahead and click on that. Now if you're on campus, if you're at school, you'll be able to skip this page and you won't need to enter a password. But if you're at home, you'll need to enter the password that your teacher gave you and then click on Proceed. After you do that, you'll be at the Opposing Viewpoints homepage. So Opposing Viewpoints is a search engine that allows you to search um, controversial topics and it gives you trustworthy and credible resources and results. So the easiest way to use it is just to type in this, the topic that you're looking for. Today I'm going to be looking for information on the controversy of evolution. So I'll type in my search term here and click on search. Be patient with this database. Sometimes it's a little slow. So if it takes a while to load, just wait. So here's my topic, evolution. You can see that it gives me a brief summary of the topic. And then here on the sidebar, it shows me what's available to me. I have different viewpoints I can read. I can read newspaper articles, magazine articles, academic journal articles, reference articles like encyclopedias. Um, I have statistics, websites, videos, images, audio. So this is really great, this sidebar, if you're looking for a specific type of resource. So for now, I'm going to scroll down and see what's available to me. And I think I'm going to scroll down to the academic journals. So if I find an article that looks good to me, I can click on the title. And you can see it's loading here. Now let me show you a couple things, a couple tools that each article has. The first thing you'll want to see or want to notice is that each article has this little listen button. And if you're the type of person who learns better by hearing things rather than reading things, this might be useful to you. If you click on the listen button, you, the article will actually get read to you. You'll, you'll, you'll be able to listen to it. So that might be helpful. Now here on this sidebar, I have a couple tools that might be useful. Um, I can share this article on several social networks, uh, or I can email it or print it. Um, I can also email through this button right here. I can print. If there's a word that I don't know in this article, I can use the dictionary to help me figure out the meaning of the word. And I can also translate the article into several different languages. So those are certain tools that you uh, might want to take make use of. Now, the most useful tool, I think, is actually at the very bottom. If you scroll down to the bottom of this long article, you'll see that you have your citation right here. This is great because all you have to do is copy and paste the citation and put it into your Works Cited. You don't have to go to EasyBib or Citation Machine or anything like that. It's all right here for you. So if you find that this article um, is not useful or if you want to look for another article, you can just go back to your topic and look at, the, um, at all the other articles and resources that are available to you and just look around until you find something. You might also want to take a look at the related topics. I searched for evolution, so creationism is a related topic that you might want to look at as well. So that's a basic way to use opposing viewpoints in context. In part two, in video part two, I'm going to show you our other database. It's called Issues and Controversies. So make sure you take a look at part two. Thanks.